Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, finally got out of bed, so for brunch, breakfast, lunch, I thought I'd make up this mac and cheese from Cheetos. They have three different flavors. This is the normal one. I'm not really a fan of the spicy snack food category, like those on fuego Doritos or whatever they call them. I just like a good, tasty snack. Now I do like mac and cheese, and uh, that's a good simple snack. Fills you up if you beat the whole thing for yourself. It'll feed you up for, here's some microwave directions which I didn't use. Um, it'll fill you up, you know, for a good day or so, for a good four or five hours. Okay, so here you have it. I think they have three different. I bought this at the grocery store quite a few months ago. Uh, what is the expiration date on there? Oh, excuse me. I guess I should leave this standing to stuff like that. It's April 14th, 22. Oops. Now here's August. Um, but uh, I guess that's why it was on sale when I bought it. Uh, Aldi the other day had the instant bowls. So I bought one of those, which is about the same cost as a box of Kraft mac and cheese at Aldi which is, we'll get you three of the Aldi brand boxes. So buy accordingly. I'm pretty much happy with the regular. And usually I jazz up the cheese a little with some, added some uh, real stuff to, to it. Um, so I tried the, uh, the ramen version yesterday, the instant. Too watery. Um, the taste wasn't really there. I mean, it cooked well. I mean, it's, the noodles were about half the size because, of course, you're boiling in a microwave. They have to be much thinner. Well, they cooked well. The, yeah, it cooked. Then you have to add the sauce to it. And, um, yeah, I actually drank it. It was like, a, it was like your ramen soup. Um, so you, have, you had the mac and cheese, but then you had this nice cheesy drink <laughs> with it as well. Um, so they need to adjust that um, water. I don't know if they needed all that water for boiling. If it's still cook it without. But, um, uh, or you could fix that by putting more powder, more cheese, which of course is probably the expensive part, into that bowl so that it soaks up all the water. It's this nice, thick, gooey cheese. So I made this once before a few months ago. I overcooked the pasta. And with rotini, if you do that, especially, well, I don't know if rotini in general, but at this rotini, you get linguine. It just uncurls. Um, today with this, I had a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, I did use a colander, but what I noticed is that there were little pieces of, like, pasta rice from this pasta, I guess, might have broken off. But those clogged up the colander. So if you're doing this, um, use a sieve. Or just drain it or do the, the uh, lazy-ass version and uh, just put the lid on top of the pot and drain it in, uh, in the sink that way. So anyway, let me have – I'll show you this. Now, I when I – uh, Cooked this today, prepared it today. I did use a colander, and I uh, so I just took the pot, tossed in the what was that? Two tablespoons. Yep, two tablespoons of butter. Splash, quarter cup of milk, and. Um, Made sort of a roux on the bottom, and then tossed the noodles back in, pasta back in, mixed it all up, so it got nice and gooey. Um, yeah, it tastes like Cheetos. I don't know if it's as creamy as a regular mac and cheese. Two and a half servings. Which means, boom, as packaged, as prepared. 
so that's uh, ooh, two and a half. 34, 68, 68 and 17, 70, 85, 100, 850 calories. What are we doing on sodium? Yeah, that's a lot of sodium. That's almost my daily intake. Not quite as bad as ramen, but not that good either. So this is more of a treat for me. But as I said, it's around, it's one o'clock now almost there. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I'm not going to eat until about four or five. So this will uh, fill me up and keep me going until then. Let's uh, see if I can just zoom in. Oh, yeah. Look at that creamy goodness. Okay, back to normal. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Put your comments below. Generally speaking, when uh, brands try to cross over like this, it doesn't really work out. This works fine. It's not worth it what I was uh, thinking. The, the, doing the rotini was interesting because, yeah, it does cling to the sauce better than macaroni. Macaroni is used because it doesn't really lose its shape if you overcook it. But you can do cheese with just about any cheese sauce with any type of pasta really um, it helps though if the pasta is designed to grab the sauce like this rotini is so thanks for watching would you eat this are there what type of cheese would you like in your mac and cheese and maybe just maybe I'll share you my lazy ass bachelor version of mac and cheese, which requires no milk. Well, it requires milk, but no refrigerated milk, no butter. Until then, hope your day is great. Bon appetit, as they say. Rosenbaum from Chicago.